Capricorn hi and welcome to your September reading this is for anybody that has their Sun moon rising midheaven and or Venus sign in Capricorn however if you found yourself on this video there's reason for it and I hope you hear all that you need at this time let's get into your reading I hope everything's been pretty good for you guys so far a lot still to come first out was the wheel of fortune followed by the Ten of Cups and the High Priestess with the Devil card that came out, okay? Your energy. Coming into the position of the obstacles, which you might feel coming into the middle of September if this has not already happened in the recent or distant past, right? You have the King of Wands that is here, followed by the King of Pentacles and the Death card okay and then coming into the end of the month what you should focus on to overcome these conflicting energies or just in general how you'll be feeling by the end of september you have the two of wands followed by the ace of wands and the lovers card i'm hearing i want you all to myself i swear you don't need nobody else i swear mm -hmm. i don't know how those lyrics really go but that came to mind. I feel like somebody definitely sparks your romantic interest by the end of the month. Okay, I'm not even going to waste your time, honey. Love is coming in for the singles. If not, there's a deeper level of passion for the person that you've been committed to um, in a relationship. Okay, because you, you do have the higher font back here. So you can be in a relationship with this person already. Um, I feel like it can also be somebody that is trying to come back in. So this is somebody that you are already really familiar with, that you know through and through. Because the higher friend is all about like knowing, you know? So this might be somebody that you already know trying to come back and reignite that flame and the chemistry and that passion that they have for you, okay? If this is not a new person. But you very well can be venturing out and deciding that you know you don't want that old thing back you want to start anew and very well you have a lot of options i feel like you guys are really hot by the end of september okay you can bring summer to the winter time you know but with this wheel of fortune i feel like the tides are changing there's something changing with your emotional state so if this is not just about a relationship just your own well-being and your own happiness um i'm hearing let out the cage so i feel like a lot of you guys are really going to expose yourselves this month you're tired of hiding in the shadows okay that came through i'm hearing it's time to show them what you're made of okay Come on, Capricorn. We want to see. Hey, here we go. Develop that audience, okay? Give us something to look at. What do you have to bring to the table? I want to know. I feel like some of you guys know and some of you guys don't. So you're in this position where you're really... I don't want to say refusing. But you're reluctant. There we go you guys are feeling very reluctant to embark on this transition because it's going to make you highly uncomfortable with this having those three in the obstacles positions i feel like some of you guys have never had the example so it's kind of like you're forging a path that's never been trotted on and that is what has gotten you in this place where you're just like, but like, you know, like, what if it doesn't work out, you know? What if I fail? So there's some fear-based energy going here, character development. But I feel like some of you guys have some male figures that are in your external environment that may, like the relationships with them, you might need to take a closer look at and do some healing in that area of your life. 
because that's what's kind of held you back okay the lack of these role models or the examples that I guess that you've been looking for not really having a model right like a father figure or not having that support from a brother or just somebody that you hold in a high regard maybe somebody feels like this about you and so there's a strain in that relationship if you are the elder sibling and you have somebody else that's younger than you needing to look up to you like nobody's perfect right we're all kind of just winging it here and so i feel like as long as you explain that you're able to have a better understanding of who each other are and being able to change the dynamic into something that is more healthy okay and because I, I feel like some of you guys are demanding or you're expecting too much of yourselves and so that's kind of what's causing additional pressure that you don't need at this time who you are and what you have is enough to get started on this new journey this transition that you're about to take okay this letting out of the cage that I'm, I'm hearing I keep looking at your energy here in this devil card because it's kind of like you, you've gotten to a point where it's like if you don't do something you will always be at the courtesy of somebody else like you will have to serve someone for the rest of your life if you're not the one if you're not the host inviting people to the party okay if you're not the employer you will be the employee and I feel like a lot of you guys are you're done with that type of lifestyle okay you're you're ready for something that is more fulfilling that speaks more to you and your truth yeah for sure and you guys can finally just like move on okay um if there was somebody that you really cared about that recently passed you know that's what can happen with this Wheel of Fortune, Ten of Cups type of energy, somebody, you know, they've gone through their cycle of life, okay, and it's like you've kind of known this for a while, that their health was declining or, you know, that you were kind of running out of time, um, and there's been like that sense of denial and not wanting to accept it, you know, and just potentially being depressed with their passing understand that they haven't really gone anywhere physically yeah you're not going to be able to have them around when you want to have them around but as above so below they are watching you they are very proud of you um and you you have to make them proud right don't give up just because they've gone to the end of their life that everybody has to understand that we are all going to go through this type of transition transformation is necessary in this lifetime nothing remains the same and so you need to open yourself up to evolution and use the pain to your benefit right use what they taught you and implement that into your work and your creative work to be able to make something out of that and be able to hold that memory and it still be positive that's what I'm getting okay um, but you are divinely supported and it, everything will get better in time you know I'm not gonna rush you through your healing definitely mourn if somebody has passed my condolences as well but um, you, you can't stop moving okay if for nobody else do it for them but you should do you know what your sole purpose is to do here right um going back to romantic relationships though if you are involved with someone i feel like somebody's a little bit possessive and a little bit too set in their ways okay that needs to be transformed for the relationship to improve by the end of the month but i am also getting with this high priestess and the devil card that there's another woman or somebody in the external environment another man that is being very temptuous and trying to intervene and so that might potentially cause problems some stir ups of jealousy um, 
so a male might be trying to get your woman's attention here and that flares up the jealousy um, you realize too by the end of the month just how much you care for this person when this event occurs okay you want to take it a little bit more seriously than you have been taking it you realize that you haven't been as committed to the relationship maybe as you need to be you, you kind of stopped doing what you were doing initially that first got the person's attention and made that impression right first impressions are lasting impressions don't ever stop dating the person that you want to be with okay and so by the end of the month i see you guys going out on adventures you know needing to play a little bit more taking this uh more seriously again reigniting the passion and the relationship so in that event you know then it's a positive thing because i can't necessarily say something happened here but just seeing somebody else have that interest for your partner was more than enough now this can be somebody sleeping with the devil this can be a third party situation here so just be very careful because that will change the trajectory of your relationship i feel like some people will be tested this month so prayerfully you pass the test okay you just you need to have self-control right be disciplined but yeah that's really what's coming through for you capricorn i just want to say really embody scorpio's energy as far as understanding transitions and cycles of life and stages of life how things have to end for something else to come in you know you're constantly having to pick the weeds of the things that you like once you garden and you plant a seed right and it grows other things are going to try to kill that plant so you have to make sure that you pretty much you water your grass you tend to your garden um, you take care of and nourish the things that you care about so that they can grow but understanding where to give space so you're not possessive right and how to leave room for growth and development okay having to develop more trust i feel like a lot of you guys need to do that in the mid-month but um definitely because we are in virgo season also tend to the details okay so that you can continue to be abundant and work oh, I, i'm hearing little mistakes add up to big mistakes so just be very careful read everything through and through do your due diligence and make a very detailed plan get really organized okay i understand that this can be monotonous work sometimes to constantly have to worry about the small details but there's a big payout in the end okay so as far as chakras are concerned your sacral chakra your uh solar plexus is also here your root chakra might be a little overactive and your third eye crown chakra always heed your own personal intuition that is a little bit under balanced so get that in order okay and at this time if what i said resonated for you give me a thumbs up share this with your friends and family and do subscribe for more if i didn't mention it at the beginning of this video um, for the mid-month readings i'm going to try a different spread and see what comes through um, what information i receive that way kind of want to change things up a bit as well i'm also working on the website for you guys um, and once that's up hopefully by the end of september then i will be able to open myself up to start doing personal readings for you guys so i do want to say thank you so much for the support thus far and for bearing with me and the changes i've been making for this platform um, for us really at the end of the day and yeah good things are to come for everybody so enjoy september okay peace